is. Nou, EV, put the kettle on. Love you. <laughs> Good afternoon, Shed Dwellers. Uh, welcome back to Shedmouth Junction. Um, I thought I'd have a little chat today about cranes. Now, I've got a bit of a project on the go at the moment, and um, I want to tell you where it all kind of started from. It's very, very quick. I'm not going to be here for 15, 20 minutes like I was last time, boring the whole interweb world with my rattling, dulcet tones. Now then, um, long story short, um, this crane here was purchased for somebody else. And it came to my possession for a little look at, and I really liked it. It's the Hornby R6204 weathered edition um, uh, crane, the 70, 76 ton. And um, it, it looks really, really nice. I really kind of like fell in love with it. I thought it would look really nice up on my layout up here or down here when it eventually gets built somewhere. Um, and so I put it on my layout and I've been playing around with it for a few days. And um, yeah, so I went on eBay and I found very, very cheaply this one. There we go. Now this one here is um, much, 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 much older. Um, this is a Hornby 001. And as you can see, it's not standard. Okay, someone has painted this at some point, um, put a bit of weathering on it. And um, it's it looks really, really cool. I really, really like it. And in fact, compared to the modern one, um actually i prefer the look it might that sound weird but it's everything's metal on the old hornby 001 whereas this is all plastic it's a much much heavier unit this one's got a lot of play in the in the top thingy bob area um and it kind of feels a bit like a fragile a fragile piece of equipment this feels solid absolutely solid and um I say it's been painted it's not original it has been painted and and perhaps not to the standards of um that's a thing actually if you haven't checked out his channel please go and have a little look um really nice guy and a very very talented chap my god uh i've, I've watched a few of his videos recently oh, well, over the last few months and um oh, blind, pencil, Jesus. and uh what a what a talented guy not only is he a brilliant artist but um, he takes like um, locos that he finds cheap on eBay and renovates them. I mean, wrote down the last one. What was the last one he did? The last one was uh, the the J38, little Hornby J38 L and the R loco. And I think it's fair to say that thing had had a bit of a life. You know, <laughs> it hasn't been what you might call lovingly cared for, lovingly used maybe, um, but not lovingly cared for. The chimney was missing and it needed a good old service. And he got it for like five quid. And um, you should see him, he's there with a little drill and he's, he's lathing out his own chimney for it. And <sighs> fair play to you, sir. If you haven't checked it out, check him out. Like I say, it's Shaky Hands. I did write it down because I forget which order it goes in. I keep calling it Shaky Hand Railways, but it's not. It's Shaky Hands Shed Model Railways. Check him out on YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. Really, really, really top man. Um, but yeah. It's not to that kind of level, you know. It's, it's a basic weathering job on this one, um, and it doesn't look too bad actually. It's got a bit of dust on it, which I think adds to the age, if you like. And I thought about do I add to the weathering or do I try and repaint it again? And I thought, no, no, as it is, it tells a story of its life, really. You know, it's not original. Someone's owned it, someone's loved it, someone's played with it, and someone has um, uh, painted it. And it, I, I like that. It tells a nice story of its life. And it still looks the absolute bizzo. Even then it's been, you know, titillated around a little bit. It looks really, really, really cool. And I absolutely love it. Now someone has added, I'll try and, try and bring you in a bit closer here. Hang on. There we go. Now then, not quite sure how well you can see this on my, my ancient telephone. But someone has added these cracking little pulleys on here. And it, it's obviously not standard, this whole thing. I mean, these all come off. I mean, they might be standard, they might be original, but I don't, I looked on the tinterwebs. And I can't see any of these cranes that people have actually um, had these on. So I think whoever owned it before may have just added it on. I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be completely original, but I don't know. Um, it looks to me like someone's just drilled some holes and poked the pins of that through. I don't think the handle's original either because there's, I think on the original one, there's a little V piece of metal which sat in here like a spring. And it worked on a flat piece on the on the crank. So it would lock, lock up the, um, the boom as it went up. And these look like they've been replaced with a, a just a standard round shaft on these 
on these little arms so although they're not very round these days they're pretty much uh they're not very straight now but hey it's all part of its its life and its history and uh yeah i quite like that i quite like it um things like the little metal hook it's all it's all it feels weighty it feels durable again i'm not quite sure how original it is because i've got a funny feeling it should have two lots of these going by pictures i've seen on google i think it should have two of these little trucks with the with the um outriggers and instead of, it's on the back of this one it's got like a little box there we go and whether that has been made and was stuck on i'm not quite so sure or if that was part of another set or, or what but i think again it, it adds to the character i'm not too worried about having some outriggers missing i don't really mind that i mean it is mainly as a like a you know it's just more like a showpiece on the railway line more than anything else and the guy also had made or bought this little box which is quite smart and he when it comes like that and yeah it looks look the part it looks quite nice the only thing i need to do with it bring it back into the shop there we go the only thing i need to do with it is work out the rigging is that what they call it rigging is that what they put on a ship not so sure anyway whereas the um the modern equivalent yeah so bringing in the new one there we go and as you can see there are no kind of like pulleys on there that sort of thing they were just straightforward onto the little onto little cranks there which are rather clever rather neat I mean, they do work really really well little chains around those now the question i'm going to have i don't know how on earth you cable up some pulleys I've looked at pictures of the real cranes uh, on on uh, Uface, um, YouTube and Google, and I can get photographs of the whole crane, but I can't get any close-ups of what went on the rigging here. Excuse me if I'm using the wrong term, rigging. It's only the word I can think of that might, might equate to what I need to be talking about. Um, and I think I can work it out, but so I can't find anything official. So what I'm going to do is a bit of a, a little bit of trial and error, should we say. So this afternoon, I have been on eBay and I have found, trying to find a suitable material for these pulleys uh, and this rigging. Um, I thought of different, different materials. I know, I think I used to use uh, waxed thread and I thought about that. I thought, yeah, that'd be okay. And then um, I looked at this stuff, uh, which was a fishing line coming in various thicknesses, 0.4 mil, 0.5 uh, mil, really, really thin um, uh, thicknesses. So looking at that, it's got like it's coiled, like a, like a, a cable, if you like, and it's black, which is a good thing. Uh, and I think it'd be the right size for the scale of what a cable would actually be. Uh, and the description, it says also it has no memory, which is a good thing because neither have I. So I think we'll be a perfect match. Uh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm assuming by memory it means if it's coiled up, it, when you let it go, it won't stay coiled. It should hopefully go flat, which is perfect for this. But it's on order, so hopefully when it turns up, we can get it on the crane and, and, and rig it up and see what it does. In the meantime, today, I, I'm going to play around with, if I can go and find it, um, some good old-fashioned darning cotton. There we go, some stuff you fix your socks with. This is going to be rubbish, I know that, because it's, it's just too thin, it breaks too easily, and it's going to be absolute pants so it goes, popped it early. But, but if I can just work out which way it has to go and see if it lifts the boom up, when the fishing line turns up, I can give that a go. And if the fishing line is terrible and doesn't work, then I'm going to get some wax uh, thread and see if that works. In the meantime, right, let's get this camera set up and let's have a little go at some practice rigging. If anyone's got the right term terminology for that, please let me know, because I feel like a right twonk keeps saying rigging is probably something really, really different to that. Um, but yeah, let's have a go and uh, see if we can get it to work. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so this cotton's in the right place. Let's see if it actually works. Look at this, look, eh? How's that doing? That's doing the job, isn't it? So that goes onto a... So by the time that gets onto one of them little handles and starts turning like a good one, that in theory should lift it look at that i've got no idea if that is correct it's probably completely wrong but for now i'm taking it as i am a complete and utter expert in the world of crane rigging look at that i love it all i've got to now is find something better than this stuff 
to run it on. But I'm well happy with that. That looks pretty cool. Right, that's it. Job done. Happy days. My little lady folks and gentle people, it is at this time of the show where I have to make a confession. I ordered the um, fishing line uh, on the tinted webs. I didn't go to a local fishing shop because we haven't got one in the town. Um, ordered it online and there's lots of, oh, I can't believe I've done this, lots of uh, adverts for exactly the same product, all exactly the same price. And I just clicked on the first one and I happened to pick the only one out of the entire listings for that particular product that's going to come from China. So here we are three weeks after starting the video and finally it has arrived. And because I'm in the shed and it's in there and it's now night time, I'm going to send off the land driver to go. Go fetch boys, come on, off you go. That has to be the longest delivery ever. Like weeks from, from I can't even read it, somewhere in China, and then a half an hour climbing session <laughs> up onto my bench. But it was fun nonetheless. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on and see what this stuff is actually like. Um, you see, I've not opened it yet. It could be rubbish, it could be rather exciting. But let's move the Land Rover out of the way. Off we go, mate. There you go. Fantastic. Right, so let's open this up. See what we got. It's like Christmas. And indeed we have got some braided fish line. Ooh, 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 actually folks. This could be just what we're after. Ooh, I've turned the camera around. Oh yeah, look at that. Might be too thin. Don't know, let's have a look. Okay, so looking at this, it actually looks pretty smart. As you can see, it's got like a texture to it, like a like a braided texture, which looks a little bit like cable. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I think I went with, it's been so long I've forgotten what I actually ordered. Here we go, um, 0 0.32 millimeter. They do such tiny increments as well. But I think that on there is gonna look the absolute bizzo, I'd say. Yeah, that can't be far off the right scale, can it? Okay, okay, let's get it all wired up and see what we think, shall we? So there we go. It's the morning after the night before, and I have now got all of my fishing line in place. I'm not convinced I've got this correctly accurate uh, to how they would have really been um, threaded through in the right directions and so on and so forth. But I think actually, move the tripod around. I think it kind of looks a bit authentic. It looks really, really nice and nice and scale. I love the texture that's on the actual on the actual line itself. This whole sort of like weave effect, if I can get it to focus on there. There you go. Look, 
it actually looks really really nice and scale so yeah i think i'm well chuffed with that looks the bizzo looks the part it works up and down absolutely fine so i think they called a, a job job to get it on the um on the layout and see how it looks up on the uh, on the shelf so there you go up on the layout and it looks really really nice nice and authentic really like look of that up there and um yeah really really chuffed with that what a result absolutely brilliant so that's it folks that's it that's me done for the day have a fantastic halloween thank you once again for tuning in as always and we look forward to seeing you on the next one